So we are downtown Los Angeles. About to go check out a few uh, stores like Ross and Burlington. Might be two videos, might be one, who knows. A little earlier in the day, traffic's not too crazy out here. If you guys enjoy what you see in the video, make sure you smash that like button. It's your boy, Bobby Thrift. Follow me on IG, leave comments, let's go. So now we're here downtown at Burlington first stop. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Hello. This location is big, like I said, they have an upstairs and downstairs. We're here a little bit early in the day, so it's not as crazy as it will get in the daytime or in the evening. We got women's shoes over there, which we'll go and check out on the way up. And then we got men's and stuff like that downstairs. So let's go ahead and see what we can come across. Shout out to everybody out here. Hello, doing retail arbitrage. Smash the like button, share the video, and definitely don't forget to subscribe to your boy Bobby Thrift. And uh, follow me on IG as well, man. Looks like it's kind of quiet, but it could just be like that till I get over there. They have switched it up since the last time I came here. They moved some things around, but it looks a lot more organized, which is dope. You know, some Rockerware Chucks, $22. Skechers Y Fit. If you guys have sold these before, let me know. We saw these at Burlington, too, and two other ways. They want $37 for them here. Some of these superstars, which we have seen before, they usually come with extra laces, but they don't here. They want $29 for them. We got some feelers right here with like a little fake snakeskin print on them. 26 bucks. If you guys have sold those before, please let me know. I could be clowning them, but they could be worth something. I have no idea. On the last aisle, we see a lot of cleats. If you guys have sold these cleats before, let me know. I have sold these before, but we're leaving them. Got some Adidas ones, some Nike ones, some more Nike ones, Forces something here worthwhile let me know i don't see anything that's interesting more cleats up here all right adidas so uh yeah man as far as the shoes are concerned things aren't really popping here still fixing up the store i guess more to go yeah so uh this location didn't have a lot when it came to the shoes let's go ahead and look through the merch really quick and if you know nothing else then we're gonna check out going over to ross now briefly checking out the clothes don't see too much going on but i'm going and doing this because there could be something that's in the tuck you know hidden away you guys might be able to tell me about it. if you guys have had luck with these type of jerseys from this brand let me know because you know it's nothing i've tried yet but i do see them more and some of the jerseys do look pretty dope so if you guys have sold jerseys from that brand of course let me know in the comment section below if you don't mind the more information you know the better see what i'm saying so just something i'm gonna look into it too but uh i just like having that conversation inside the you know comment section dodgers t with the little patch on it it's not bad 14.99 of course, new with tags. Don't sell a retail tag on it, though. Adidas jerseys, $5 for $17. Okay. We have seen this before, and I've actually picked a few of these up and sold them on Amazon, but I got it for much cheaper than that. $24 for $85. I believe I got it for like $12.99 at a Burlington or something like that a while ago. Quakes, San Jose Quakes. Pretty nice jersey. Yeah, these ones here too with the with the I like these man. Let me go ahead and look it up real quick. Let's go look up this San Jose Quicks jersey. Scan the barcode real quick. What happened when it comes up? It doesn't even come up the right thing. I've sold it though for sure. These Nike Pro Pads do pretty good for me. 70 bucks on the retail. What do they have? What are they asking for here? $16.99. It's a pretty good one. We're gonna hold that to the side. Those pads do well on Amazon and eBay. So do these shorts here or these pants, these football pants. $2.99. The only thing I just don't really like to mess with the white because it just it can get dirty at any time. Hundred dollars on the retail though, bruh. That's like hard to pass up. So look like we got two good finds. You guys can see that make sure that moves. $100 retail for those. $2.99 on sale for those, bro. That's crazy. The fact that they're sitting there like that. Are these, these USA Dodger shirts. Shorts over here. A little 
LeBron T. So it's kind of chill. Like nothing else I'm gonna really look at as of yet. So unfortunately, the men's section didn't really have much. Uh, so we're gonna check out the women's real quick and see what's up there. You know, sometimes it's like that. You don't always go out and find a whole bunch of heat. You know what I mean? So let's go check out the women's section and see if there's anything better there. We'll make this quick and I don't wanna waste your time. So if I find something, I'll let you guys know. Well, slut, fake Balenciagas. Unfortunately, there was nothing here. So we have the women's section here, which is, is usually good too, but uh, I'm gonna go on downstairs to the men's section first, and then we'll see what's good from there. Let me go use this escalator. Work smarter, not harder. This location is different though. They usually have some good stuff. Hopefully they do today. Let's go dive in and see what's up with the shoes first. And then we'll swing back around to the apparel here. See people in all the sections so we don't know what's going to be here. Hopefully something good though. Maybe this one's more low key, I don't know. But let's go ahead and jump right on in and see if there is anything here worthwhile. Ooh. What about these curries? They look kind of dirty. 50 bucks on them. We're going to hold on to these to, to see if there's anything going on with this because we've been having some good luck with these curries lately. Let's go see what's up with that. Hello. Sliding here. We got some uh, Don Issue 2 All Star Edition. It's the color, it's the battle of the orange shoes today. I guess that's what we're doing here. Don issue twos. Reselling those is not too good. From what I've seen before. But everything changes. We got these cleats right here. These Adidas cleats. Crazy colorway, $16.99. Definitely might be worth looking up to see what it's talking about. Some of those uh, De Dennis Smith Juniors. I've seen those before. What about these? We've definitely seen these before. Is this the ones that uh, Trey Young was wearing? I don't know. They want 37 so $38 for them. Cop will pass. So far, we know these are the cops right here. These right here. Turns out to be a great move, y'all. So they want 50 bucks for them. Last sale, 118, or May 18th for 100 Then you got 134 65 it's a size 13, which went for 134. Orange burst, orange burst. Not a bad look. Let's go ahead and look up these cleats and see if they're worth it. So these right here are pretty clean, and so far the ask are not bad. They only want $16 for them here. I know I said I'm done with cleats, but let's see what the sales are. Maybe that might change my mind. $79, May 14th, $80, $89. I mean, it looks like these might be a win too. I checked those I had briefly, but this Mariners, Marlin, this Marlins, Florida Marlins hat is pretty dope. Only $10.99, a new era hat. But I looked at all the other hats. There wasn't too many other things here worth it. So let's go upstairs and check out the women's section. So on these two shoes right here, got some pretty good finds so far. Both Under Armors, and that's what's been happening lately. Last time I had a pair of Curry Under Armors, I sold them for like $180, no joke. Got them, uh, some white and blue ones. If you watch one of my past videos, I was debating on picking it up. It was the best thing that I did because, like I said, I was able to get like 190 for So they got this Miami Dwayne Wade shirt, which is pretty fire. Three Wade, what's the price on them? $35 for the T, $14, extra large. Nothing on the back, oh, they got Wade on the back. Miami colors, that's pretty fire. Ooh, a navy blue one. I never really seen a navy blue one before. 70 bucks. 9.99. They also got these Nike jerseys here, 9.99. Retail is 50 on that. Look at that rank though. Look at that rank. What would you guys do? Pick it up or leave it? That's a hard decision. 9.99. 
but that rank is 21 million, bro. <sighs> now, peeping out the kids section real quick. See all what we got right here. This is definitely happening right here. Have to. Look at what we find here, y'all. Unfortunately, we see the stain on a toe box. Is that something that can come out, though? But they also want $80 for them, too, bro. What the hell is going on? $80 for the Super Bronze. Wow. They know what they got. I'm doing it with my off hand, y'all, so. It's real, though. It's real. Super brown size four and a half. So yeah. So far, this is great. This is what we're getting at Ross today. We're leaving with this. Let me know what you guys think about my finds. Uh, if you copped any of these things and sold them for a different rate or something like that, let me know. I wish we could have scooped up these super bronze, but I'm gonna leave them. Eighty dollars, and they got that mark. It's a great find, but uh, I think we're gonna have to leave it, bro. They keep asking for more registers. That must mean this place is getting crowded. But there's just some opportunities you can't pass up. So let's briefly take a look and see. Okay, there's nothing there. Let's go, kind of empty over here. I'll pull you guys back up if I see. Like, these are crazy, bro. What the hell? 24 bucks, let's go ahead and look these up too. If you guys have bought these before, let me know in the comment section below. That looks clean right there though. Just chilling there, bro. Just chilling. You know what I mean? Next section with the alarms going off. We got some more Crayolas. 34 bucks on those. See notes everywhere. These Pumas look pretty dope with the suede material. I like these. $29 for the ladies. I'm not gonna get them to flip them, but I do like the way they look and the quality on them is very nice. If you hold if you have sold them before, of course, let us know in the comments below. Here's my card at the end of the day. These golf cleats right here, though, bro. Crazy outsole, $25 on them. Look them up on eBay. We see 69s. That's not really that much, though, right there, y'all. You know what I'm saying? They look good. They would be dope to have in the collection, I guess. But I feel like the margins aren't enough. Let's go down to some sold comps and see what's what they're talking about. $25. Oh, oh, wait, hold up. Nike Roshi G Tour NRG Golf, May 17th, sold for $109. Another one, $52.99, $74.100. Never mind, we're going to scoop them all. Yes, indeed. Great, great find here. In the women's section, was very low key. Those, the cleats, the curries, and then these three NBA workout vests. Let's go. Once again, let me know what you think about the finds. If you like what you see, please smash the like button. Leave me some feedback, man. Let me know if you guys have found these things before, sold them for more than what I'm talking about, or just let us know your, your experience with some of these items that I've come across too. It's your boy, Bobby Thrift, man. I'm making my way to the line. It's kind of, where the fuck is the line? Display case for designer. You got Gucci here. Look at these Gucci's for 549. Who knew they had this type of Gucci? We definitely seen Valentino and stuff like Wow, what? Gucci's. Clean. Never seen Ross with that before. Gucci display case at Ross. Okay, let's go. Let's go check out now. So we out here, big ass bag. If you guys have a good day, bro. If you like what you see, smash the like button, share the video. Now let's get on to the rest of the adventure with the other stuff we gotta go pick up, you dig? Marsh real quick and found these Adidas cleats, which are pretty dope looking, $19. Got a pretty good amount of them here. Scan that right there. You see the rank is pretty good, $44 from 19. Amazon is selling it though. So that's what makes me iffy about it, of course. A lot of offers there though. One for $68, even though Amazon has it. What would you guys do based on the fact that Amazon has it, but the ranking is really good? Will they sell out soon and you'll, then you'll be there? Those, we definitely picked these up before. I have some of those already listed. Oh, they're on sale for $13 now. And then what about these new balances? This is something I need to get ungated in because this right here is dope. They only got them for 40 bucks. 
But Amazon's asking some really good prices for these. 147, bro. 147. 